Hello React Native Developers, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we are going to practically solve the most common problem faced by React Native Developers in implementing Flatlist. I got a lot of requests lately on making a video tutorial on this issue. So I am here and without wasting much of the time, let's jump into the tutorial. Here we are in our VS Code. We have a view already developed. And in this view, uh, I will be explaining you what problem we are facing. So for example, we have a flat list here, which is populated by these items. So the issue is that if we want to add an element at the end of the flat list or at the beginning of the flat list, it's an issue because if we will create an element right here like this, we can see that this item is just uh, displayed outside of the flat list uh, but this is not the thing that we want we want this item to be placed as a last item of the flat list so this is the issue that most of us are facing while we are implementing the flat list for example in our case uh, if we want to just have a button here to uh, just uh, load more items or a button to add uh, some items in this array uh, in this array of items uh, so for that we will be just having this video tutorial that will cover this problem so without wasting much time let's start this thing so let me explain uh, you first the structure of this page so here we have a flat list uh, which have a data attribute uh, this is the data that is being populated uh, in the flat list these items and we have a render item render item is the function that is just rendering the view of this item it takes item as a prop and this items one by one one by one loops from the loops the value out from the uh, array and just displays the particular uh, item so to solve the issue what we will do is we will just uh, uh, create another item in this array we will just pretend that this uh, uh, this array has an additional item so that it behaves as the item of the flat list and not as a separate entity so for that we will do uh, uh, just uh, we will destructure this data that takes the list of uh, the pizza items and we will create another element for example we have a view more button we can have a view more property and we will set it to true so with reference to this view more property we will just conditionally render the views accordingly so right now if i will save you can see that uh, ignore the uh, warning we can see that an, an additional item uh, is just placed at the end of the flat list now we will just target this view more uh, conditionally and uh, uh, render the view accordingly for that we will just jump into the render item function and we will write a conditional if item dot view more so if you have a view, view more condition then we, we will want to display uh, this view more button so at that time we will return a touchable a touchable opacity and we will write a text inside of it more right now. so as i save this uh, uh, code you can see on the right side that the problem is already been solved and we have this more button at the end of this flat list so the next step is to just style it a bit so that it matches the design so we will have a style element and uh, we will have a width of 49% a height of 100% border we will have a border radius of 30 we will have a background color of lightish gray and we will just center the items 
will have justify content to center and align items to center so now it's looking a bit nicer and now we will just style this text a bit we'll have a font width of 9 900 and a font size of 18 so as you can see that this more button is just now implemented at the end of the flat list so if we want to just take this button as the first element of the flat list we can do that also for that we need to just uh, uh, change the position of this view more and bring it to the front of the array so for example we will just place it here and when we will save this you can see that this uh, more button is just uh, placed as the first element of the uh, flat list none of the problems has been solved now you can just easily put the element any kind of element as the first element of the flat list or the end the last element of the flat list and conditionally uh, render all the things to match your design and so hope i have solved the problem of most of the developers if you like the video please hit the like button and share the video and don't forget to subscribe the, to the channel if you are new if you want the coding files of this project i will be sharing with you the expo url expo snack url in the description of the video please follow along that and if you are facing any other issue like this you can just drop into the comment section below i will be more than happy to help you uh, so till the next video bye bye take care happy coding